I'm Michael Smith. I'm speaking with Dr. Amal Majumdar of the University of Toronto here at the SIR meeting in Washington, D.C. Uh, Dr. Majumdar, with colleagues, has conducted a study on the embolization of varicoceles, um, a procedure that is minimally invasive uh, and is uh, increasingly, increasingly being used uh, in, in contrast to surgical interventions. Dr. Majumdar, is that the reason why, why patients, for instance, might prefer this procedure? Absolutely. Uh, in, in today's day and age, uh, patients are demanding more minimally invasive treatments, and we as interventional radiologists are able to provide these type of treatments for many procedures, in particular uh, for varicocele embolization. Uh, our procedure requires a small incision in the neck and has a much faster recovery time in comparison to the surgical ligation. You had a, uh, a study of some 60-odd patients. Can you describe uh, what, what you did? Sure. We, we reviewed about 64 patients, uh, retrospectively, that were treated at our institution with varicocele embolization. Uh, approximately 36 patients were referred for painful varicoceles, and the other 28 were referred for infertility associated with their varicoceles. Those patients were embolized, and we assessed afterwards the response to pain and in the patients with infertility, we assess the effect on the, their seminal parameters to see if we actually increase uh, things like sperm concentration and the number of motile sperm, as well as the percentage of motile sperm in their uh, semen analysis. Let's take the pain uh, issue first. Um, varicoceles can be very painful. Um, how, how well did you do in... Uh, in in actually, first of all, how, did you, how well did you do in actually embolizing the varicoceles? I guess that's the first question. Sure. O overall, we had a, a high technical success rate of about 86% overall. Um, for the left-sided uh, embolizations, which are technically easier uh, from an embolization standpoint, we had about a 94% uh, success rate. The right-sided, which are, are known to be more difficult and more variant in their uh, anatomy, we had about a 76% uh, success rate, which is pretty pretty good and comparable to uh, to uh, the, the the radiology literature for this procedure. That's the technical success rate. Mm -hmm. the, the doctor finishes the operation and says, "Yeah, that worked." What about the clinical success rate? How did the patients? Uh, how did how did their pain work? Well, in in uh, about 46% of patients, they had complete resolution of their pain. Another 28 patients or so, or 28 percent of patients had uh, partial resolution of their pain. But if you combine those numbers, 75 percent of patients walked away with either complete or partial resolution of their pain, with only a quarter left with persistent symptoms. Hmm. That's not bad, and I'm sure they they appreciated that. What about the fertility issue? Well, we ha we found that uh, our procedure was very effective at increasing the sperm concentration as determined three and six months after the procedure, as well as the number of motile sperm in the ejaculate. Both uh, values are important for patients who wish to achieve spontaneous pregnancy or for other patients who require assisted uh, reproductive techniques. They're able to increase those values and able to proceed down those other interventions for fertility. And you did, in fact, have, have a number of, uh, of spontaneous pregnancies afterwards. Yes, we had so. five uh, spontaneous pregnancies out of the 28 patients. So, that the, again, patients likely to be happy with the Absolutely. procedure. Is there a, a clinical message here uh, for, um, for, for people in practice who are dealing with these kinds of, of lesions? Sure. Uh, we, we think that uh, our procedure is an excellent uh, procedure for treating either infertility or pain associated with varicocele. Uh, one, one important thing that uh, we haven't mentioned as of yet is that we did have a, a relatively large uh, percentage of patients that were previous surgical failures. So we believe that uh, this procedure is good for both the primary treatment or uh, is a possibility in those who are so-called surgical failures who have recurrent varicoceles after their operation or recurrent symptoms or no change, etc. I see. Well, thank you for your time, uh, Dr. Majumdar. You're very welcome. I'm Michael Smith, Bed Page Today.